Hi, this is the assembly video for the Halo head mech. We're going to break things down for you in a few different sub-assemblies, categorizing the caster, the magnet holders, as well as installing the bearings and the heat sets. So let's get started. The first assembly we're going to tackle is the caster. Tools we're going to need are some CA glue, a clamp, and a two millimeter Allen wrench. The parts we're going to need are the caster itself, two of the hubs, one of the Lego O-rings, the 12 by 4 by 5 millimeter stainless steel bearing, your two shoulder bolts at different sizes, and two nylon locking nuts M3. So to get started, some of the prep work that's involved is making sure that your bearing fits well within this hole and it's encapsulated all the way down to as far as it will go. What we want to do is avoid any gaps for when we take the next piece and we put it together so that there's no gap there. So simply just clean it out and if you have to remove a little bit of material it's best to do so to make sure both pieces are touching. So to get started, what we're going to simply do is, just like we did before, we're going to put our bearing in, we're going to take our wheel, put it over it, and then sandwich it in between the second one. The step that we didn't do is add the CA glue, and I want to do that next so that way you can see it here. So what we're going to do is just open this up, get our bearing actually prepped and ready. This is what our clamp's going to be used for. So I'm going to go ahead and place this at the end of the table here and put this guy right there, a little bit closer. I'm going to put about four drops of CA glue on the caster. Just a drop. You don't need a lot because you're basically going to create a bond pretty instantly. So I got about five drops and I'm going to do is get my clamp ready, put it over the hub, grab my clamp and give it a squeeze. All right our glue is dried and our hub is complete. Go ahead and repeat that two more times and you'll be good to go. Next step prep work on our caster. Just go ahead and make sure you have the correct clearance for the four millimeter shoulder bolt. And then we're gonna press in our nylon nuts. One here on the side of the caster and one here on the inside there for your swivel caster in that part. And simply at this point now, we can put our two pieces together because we have our prep work done. I'm gonna take the shorter of the shoulder bolts, slide it through the side that's opposite of the nut and go ahead and tighten it down. It's okay to make sure it's tight. Check to make sure it's spinning and we're good to go. So you can repeat this two more times and we'll be on to the next assembly. Our next step is going to be prepping the Halo with its printed parts, hardware. And to do that, let's go over some of the things needed. So we'll need our Halo. We're also going to need our three magnet holders. Hardware, we have our six stainless steel bearings, our six stainless steel flat M3 washers, followed by three heat sets, our 25 millimeter stainless steel screw of choice, and our nylon nuts to match. Tools needed are our soldering iron, a flat file for cleaning the printed parts, a 5.5 millimeter ratchet or open-ended wrench, and then a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench I'm using for the screw of choice that I have. So let's get started and we'll put the heat sets into our halo. The installation of the heat sets are fairly simple. You want to make sure that you take each heat set, press it in through the top of the halo. They're actually going to recess in about a half a millimeter to help you prep it. So once you start one, simply take your soldering iron and press the heat inset so it's flush up against the surface. Repeat that two more times. And then you want to clean the surface here. Make sure that if there's anything that bubbles up, just take a razor blade and 
clean that surface. Flip it over and make sure there's no debris here on the bottom too as well that will impede the screw from coming through. After that, your heat sets will be done. Next, we're gonna prep our magnet holders and we'll go through the process of that. The prep work on the plastic pieces are actually fairly simple. What you're gonna do is take one magnet mount at a time and size them to fit in their corresponding location right here. And by doing that, you'll have to take your file and just clean up the edges, make sure they're square and true. And then on the outside, you wanna make sure it's nice and flat. When printing pieces, sometimes you get what's called elephant's foot and you just wanna clean it off. You may also have to file the insides of this attad to make sure it slides into its slot correctly. The goal here is to not put any outward pressure on your plastic pieces here. That way, during assembly, you're able to adjust it to the weight of your dome so it can slide in fairly easily. The next step is simply just do the rest of them following the same steps, placing them into their corresponding locations, making sure that they're not putting any outward pressure. Next step, let's go ahead and put the screws in. So putting our screws in are pretty easy as followed. We're gonna need our wrench and our Allen wrench, our nylon nuts, our 25 millimeter screws, and then our flat washers. We're gonna take each screw and put a washer on first. And I like to slide the bolt in from the inside because during on the fly, if you ever need to work on it, it's much easier to get the Allen wrench in from the inside than it is when it's up against the skirt. Next part is take one more washer and your nylon nut and simply put it on from the outside. You're gonna take your ratchet and you're gonna tighten this up as such. Now with these, you wanna make sure everything is tight especially from the weight of the magnet on it. Right now I'm just gonna leave it a little bit loose. So you repeat that by putting them on the other two and you wanna keep them symmetrically with each height. So when you go to adjust one, make sure you adjust the other two. One of the things I didn't do, as you can tell, is I didn't put the magnets in and I really just wanted to do that for this video. And we'll do something separately for the magnets later on when we finish. Next step. Let's get the bearings in place. So now that we have our magnet mounts bolted in, we can now add our bearings. I've already placed these two sides in, and I'll go ahead and finish it off for you here. So we're simply going to put one in the top and flip it over and put one in the bottom. They should press in pretty snug. Go ahead and give it a little push if need be. And the same thing on the inside. Go ahead and press that one in. The goal is to make sure it's seated all the way down. Now that we have our bearings placed in, our last step is actually gonna be installing the casters. So let's get that prepped and ready to go and we'll get right back to it. So now we've come to the final assembly of our halo for all the mechanical parts. We have our three pre-made casters, three of the four millimeter plastic washers, and the three shoulder bolts left over in the bomb. You're simply gonna take one of those and you're gonna slide it in the end of one of the bearings. You're gonna put your finger on the end and flip it over and take one of the plastic washers as a spacer for that. Simply grab one caster and slip it on. Flip it over, take your Allen wrench and tighten it up. And you might have to push in a little bit of the plastic. The goal here is to get it snug, but you don't want it too tight to where it pinches the wheel. The goal is to get it to spin freely so that way it swivels rather easily. Also check to make sure the wheel is spinning freely and it does. So now we have one on. Simply go ahead and do the next two the same way making sure that you put your shoulder bolt in, your flat washer, then your caster, and then tighten it accordingly to where it it's just freed up to sprint freely, as shown here. Moving on to the assembly of the HBM, the tools we're gonna need are a three millimeter Allen wrench. The hardware is 16 millimeter 
by 4M bolts. And then we have nylon nuts to match. The other part over here is our magnets. These are 3 quarter diameter by 3 eighths long by N52 strength. Depending on your frame, we'll determine which magnet is recommended for that. Right now we're going to use the 3 quarter by 3 eighths N52s. Just a disclaimer, I'm not going to be installing these on camera simply because there is prep work involved and we want to simplify the assembly. So moving on from that, the hardware we'll install first. You're just going to take both of your bolts and where the clamps are, you're going to see a hex on one side and then a circle on the other. So simply install the bolts in from the circle side as shown. And then take your time putting the nuts in their locations because they do pile it in pretty perfectly but at the same time if you misalign it like that you may have to redo it. So go ahead and just tighten those down to the point where they're just held into place. And then that way when you're ready to install it on your head control arm you can slide it accordingly to the space you need to determine how much pull force you want on that. The weight of the dome will determine that, but take your time when adjusting that too as well to make sure you have the most optimal uh, position of that. Some of the prep work that's involved in the plastic piece here is cleaning off the supports as well as sizing the holes for the magnets. Most printers will undersize holes so you want to make sure that they print well and if they're tight, just like this one is here, go ahead and clean them out. So that way the magnet slides in fairly easily. The reason being is we're going to put a little bit of CA glue around the outside and press them in so they're flush with this surface. So they all are. The other part of the disclaimer here is make sure that your poles line up with the poles on the halo mount. Being that they are opposing, being north-south or south-north going around. We want to make sure that they key in properly. You don't want them opposite. Once you have that confirmed and you glue your magnets in, you can go ahead and wait for them to dry, then install this into your drive. So now that we have our assembly completed, I like to go ahead and test it on a blank panel. So on the table here, you notice that everything spins freely. And what I'm looking for is to see if the casters are binding in any way, if the wheels are binding in any way. But from what I can tell, everything seems to be swiveling correctly with free movement and no resistance. So all in all, I think this one is set up perfectly right now, besides the magnets. Moving on from there, we want to size this in a skirt and dome and install it to whatever which way you wish. And to do that, I'll give you guys a few examples. So now we're going to look at the two options of setting up your dome to receive the halo. Both options we recommend gluing the dome cap on. This is going to both strengthen the dome as well as give you a better situation when it comes to sanding and finishing and painting your dome. Moving on from there, the hardware needed is simply your three thumb screws from the build of materials list. The first option in setting up the dome is as follows. First option is gluing the dome and skirt together in one piece. And to do that and achieve that, you're going to line up your screw holes either using CA glue or in this case I would solvent weld these together since they're ABS. That's going to give you the strongest dome and skirt option possible. And being able to do that, you can reach in through the middle of the halo and fix any electronics, change your batteries, fix any lighting that you need. The second option is actually just leaving the two separate. It's still a strong option too as well since we're going to be bolting it all together. Either option involves putting the halo in either from the inside like this and then what you would do is just simply rotate the halo until you can sit it on top of the shelf that the skirt provides. And then you're going to reach in with your thumb screws and then simply tighten up the thumb screws into the corresponding holes. So now we're going to bolt our skirt and dome together 
by simply just lining up the screws and just pre-screwing them together. That way they hold the screws in place. Just take your time and make sure that you line them up accordingly. So I have all the three screws in place. I'm going to simply take my halo and any orientation and any shelf it can sit on. Simply place it in. There we go. And then sit it on the shelf that's there. And I have them resting actually over the screws already. Now what you're going to do is just reach in and screw it together. Take your time and make sure you get everything lined up. Okay, now that we have our three thumb screws on, our halo is now mounted into the skirt and dome. And with some electronics and a few magnets, you are ready to roll. Now that we have everything assembled and installed in our droid, let's talk about optimizing the magnet distance between the body mount and the halo. When you first put the halo on your droid and you start rolling it around, you want to look for sluggish movement or that your casters are having issues swiveling. Your biggest culprit there is too much pull between the magnets. And what you're going to do first is adjust your body mount simply by loosening the screws. You want to adjust it by half a millimeter to a millimeter increments and then retest it. The goal there is to look for snappy movements and easy transitioning with your casters. Then you know you're in the Goldilocks zone when it comes to that. The last adjustment you should make is with the magnet mounts in the halo. Simply adjust one and the other two exactly the same and do them very minutely. You only want to make those adjustments if you have a heavier dome rather than the AP dome. This concludes our assembly and setup for the Halo HeadMech system. I want to thank you guys for choosing the Halo and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me or any of our beta team members.